<laughs> Spooky house, eh? isn't it? Uh, happy Halloween, everybody. If you want to build this house, <laughs> go ahead and watch the video. <laughs> And welcome back to a new video, which is this time a haunted manor. And this is quite a big build, so I tried something different. But don't worry, I'll tell you the numbers. So it's gonna be alright normally. I'm going to show you how many blocks and gaps and stuff you need uh, to actually build this thing. Uh, it's it's a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm using the brown terracotta for now. Uh, but yeah, I, if it's going too fast, just like slow down the video and watch the step by step. So this one is 9, so it goes from this block until this block, then from this block until this one, we have 7 blocks, which means that those are 11, so from this block until this block, and the same goes for this one, but you go from here until here, it's only a 2 block gap, so basically 9, 2 block gap, and you start with the 11 blocks, and right here, we have the same 11 blocks. So this row is 11, this one is 11, 11, 11. This one just rejoins each other, so I don't know how much it is, but probably 11 plus 9 plus 11. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, 31, I guess. Is it? Yes, it is. And then this one, basically 9, 9, 7, 7. All right, so now let's go to the height. Uh, it's quite a lot of blocks, so be prepared. <laughs> bada beam, bada boom. We have 30 high for, from this one until this one. And then for this one, we have 20 high from this one until this one. Yes, it's a lot. <laughs> so the first pillar I built, the 30 blocks, is going to be the tower. So it's going to be the square and everything around the bigger square is gonna be 20 so you just need to fill in everything and then you'll get it so right here uh, yeah, I goofed there <laughs> you can see it it's really easy you start from the corner there and you have one gap in between every time and it's gonna be la like the blackstone uh, bricks it's like a new block which uh, I really wanted to try but you just go all around and do exactly the same uh, so expect ex except for like the the corners you don't have a one gap but normally you should rejoin to the right corner right there uh, and then really easy it's just a full block going all around on top of those stairs and uh, it's gonna be a pretty roof design so this one really easy it's two block diagonal three blocks diagonal three blocks and as you can see the down block of this one touches the upper block of this one and same goes here just like the side you know diagonal boop so it means three three and two as well all right so this is really easy as well uh, like on the first thing you put down the stairs but on the second one you do a full block stair and then full blocks a row and then stairs on top of it which should leave like a one gap uh, between uh, the corner and the uh, actual like stairs and uh, full blocks. So you do exactly the same everywhere. So as you can see, there's a one, uh, one block, one just normal stone brick just towering over the other black stone bricks. And right there, you just actually just finish the whole thing. Uh, like I did, just full block on top of the stairs and one on the corners. And now, ha, cannot be easier than that, I think. Uh, on the top part of the, uh, the full blocks you put down, just put down some stone slabs or some stone brick slabs. And just go all around. It should just like connect to the uh, full block of normal bricks that are in the corners there which rejoins the whole color thing and team uh, pretty well in my opinion top of that you put down some slabs right there just on the front and then some andesite walls and on top of the andesite walls just some iron fences just to make like those pointy roof scary thing that a lot of men or old manners uh, had and then right here just like 
basically filling in the gap with some slabs or full blocks on top of it just so that the light doesn't come through you know <laughs> you need a darkness inside okay so this is quite expensive what I did is anvil uh, anvil uh, then some uh, brick walls in between them so it's a one gap in between those uh, and then on top of that a iron fence but anvils can be quite expensive so I understand that if you don't want that you can also just use iron bars and go all around instead of the anvils and the walls but I feel like that adding the anvils plus the walls plus the iron bars kind of gives like that nice dynamic you know that squarey feeling you know it's it's pointy everywhere and there's a little bit of color as well basically you do that on the rest of the roof as well And this design is basically exactly the same as below. You just put down the stairs on the corners and then one gap in between with a full block row on top of it. And then to top this off, uh, yeah, we do exactly the same. Uh, two blocks, two full blocks of bricks, then three in a diagonal, three in a diagonal, and once again, three and three. But this time we're gonna be uh, going one more row extra high. Right here, the same design as before, it's two, then three, three, and three, and we go all the same on all the sides, all the corners. So this way we have a really pointy roof, and this is something I really want to achieve. So once again, four blocks, stairs on top of it, four blocks, stairs on top of it, and it should just rejoin each other, like the whole roof together, really fine. And once again, uh, oh, this time it's actually iron bars going all around. What I you, sh you could do uh, at the the part below, but once again, put down uh, those slabs all around on the upper block of the first row of the blackstone bricks. And once you're done with that, you can put down the uh, and the side walls or the brick uh, walls. It's whatever you prefer, and put down some iron fence uh, or fence iron bars on top of it. This is, uh, by the way, this is dark oak wooden planks. And right here, uh, it cannot be easier than that, but like from this block until here, so it's the right corner, we have four blocks. And this one, from the corner, four as well. And yeah, you can guess it, uh, four as well. And here to here is the four as well so you have to do after that is just like rejoin this block until here and then here and then here and just fill those in the corner is really easy it's just like finishing the square and actually rejoining the side which is four blocks as well right there and you leave on the corner what you see on the left side uh, a two block gap just to be able to build a little overhang And all you have to do is mirror the same thing on the right side. So once again, on the very corner, on the right side, just just now, you leave a two gap. As you can see, it's not rejoined to the very corner there. What I'm using right here is um, two more blocks on the side, so just to make it a make you to be able to like walk around more easily and I use some nether brick chiseled blocks so right there just for like uh, some little tricks I will show you later is that you have to get a tree gap in between those pillar blocks right here so we got three here three here three here one and one in between those two And the same goes for here, like so one and then three, 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 one, one. You get the, the thing. Right there it doesn't really matter because you start from the corner anyway, so it's one, one and three. So basically you just mirror the same thing on the other side. 
Uh, believe me guys, I something I've never done before using nether brick along with uh, wood and stuff like that. But it, I really like the color to be honest. It's, it's a, li a little bit pink, but if you use it as a, as a base block, I feel like it's kind of working. Um, you have to try a, li a lot of things to be able to do some things, but right here I'm just like filling the gaps with upside down stairs. So the one gaps and the three gaps just with upside down stairs, nether brick stairs. On top of that is gonna be a, a nether brick wall and a nether brick fence. I wish they did, did that to like a wood as well, but put that, uh, put that down on every single like chiseled nether brick block. So it's really easy, you just need to find those four blocks. In between those, just some dark oak wooden fence gate. And this is the little trick I showed you, is if you put uh, down three uh, gates in between two walls, it's gonna do that little arch, little feeling, you know? One is gonna be higher than the other one. Which is something really nice that I hope uh, Mojang will never remove. On top of those uh, nether brick fences, you put down two more uh, dark oak wooden fences. So just for the nice transition of color, you know? And then a really easy all you have to do is just like uh, what we did before on the roof is rejoin all those uh, supporting beams uh, and put down some black brick cobblestone, black, black brick stone. Yeah, it, it's new. And then on the lower part, you put down uh, those uh, slabs. And this is uh, kind of fast forward because it's not that hard, I, I hope so. It's just like you have to follow uh, the upper top, put down some slabs, then once more slabs, and then on the third row, you put down the stairs. Once again, if it doesn't rejoin really nice, it's 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 all right because it doesn't need to be perfect that roof. But right there we have the fence gates uh, just below to rejoin the upper top, just to give that little extra detail and support. So this one is kind of tricky because this is a slab, so this count for a full block, right? So start on the very corner right here where there's like no slab. Now you count one, two and three blocks and on the fourth block right here you count two to the side on the third block you remove one block and then you repeat that until you have removed five blocks to the side so from here to here and to the top it's gonna be four blocks removed then one corner here and three blocks right here removed as well so five four one one and three so what we're gonna use right here is some spruce wood and then some dark uh, stone, you know, stairs and then two facing towards each other, a single slab in the middle and it's gonna be a nether brick wall, nether brick fence, then two dark oak wooden fences, uh, one stair on top of it, then slab, 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 slab in the middle and just behind we do just one uh, below uh, stair and then just like the slab and green stained glass. So here it's the same as we did before. So you count three blocks up and on the fourth block you start counting from the side. But this time it's not gonna be two blocks but three blocks and on the fourth block you remove one block. And then other than that it's gonna be the same thing. So five and then of course four up and three on top. And not to forget we use the a dark oak wooden trap doors uh, just to make that round feeling a, a bit better just two on the side and one on top we do exactly the same on the other window so if it's going too fast just slow down the video and see it step by step this one is different with counting because this window is gonna be a little bit smaller so what we're gonna do is two blocks and on the third block, so this one, you count two blocks. And this is still gonna be five. But this time, this is gonna be three. And this one is gonna be three as well. 
So a little smaller window, just like to make it a bit different than the other windows, which is really good, you know, just like change a bit, use the same style, but change a bit of different, uh, bigger, or smaller windows, or just a little bit more details, for example. Alright, so this one is kinda tricky, because <laughs> it's really hard to tell right here where it is, but I got a simple trick. You have those stairs, right, supporting the roof. So you can one, two, three, four, and on the fourth stair right here, you go 11 block down. So on the 11th block, this one, you put down a stair facing towards you, and upside down as well. So it's gonna be 11. Then you count to the side, four blocks. So this is gonna be the, f the fourth block, and then you go one down, and you put down one stair. You do exactly the same right here. And you can't really see it, but this is a stair, and this is also a stair. So you do basically the same as this one, but this one facing to the left, and this one to the right. And basically it's mirrored, so right there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11 blocks, 4, and 4, and then right there, you get it. And then basically it's 4 blocks 3 times, and 4 times 4 blocks of dark uh, cobblestone or bricks so uh, just to clarify what I said earlier there you don't start uh, counting the stair but just below the stair so the first block after the stair is gonna be the first block and then 11th block is gonna be a stair that you put down this part is really tricky so I'm sorry guys if it's hard to see but uh, I'm trying to explain it the best I can It's kind of tricky to show you because it's kind of dark, but the pillars right here, they overhang a bit. So they overhang with one block. So it's going to be overhang of one block on this stair right here, overhang of one block right here, and this one overhang of one block as well. And of course those pillars are going to be three up. That's it. All the pillars, three up. Since it's really hard to see, uh, I'm going to show you from the side what it looks like. So for the like the little pillars like this, you know, it's just gonna be, uh, as you can see, uh, two stairs. So this is one and uh, this is one. But for this one, uh, as you might have seen, it's like uh, one stair right here. Then you have two blocks up. Then there's also like a stair going to the side. So you go uh, on this block, stair on the side, stair on the side. But on top of it, you put down just some full blocks. And then once again, you put down three stairs right here uh, on a row. So it's going to be like in the width, it's going to be three stairs. So going from there to here. And this one is one more uh, to this side. So basically it's going to be one, two and three overhanging as you can see it's it's like going three blocks this way but those those are gonna be four next to each other so basically you have one three three and four stairs next to each other and then basically after that it's just rejoining everything with just some regular slabs so i hope you understand it this way and if it looks a bit different it doesn't really matter you just need to have that little curve you know to both sides so to the to the right and left but also to the front so here you have a little bit of a sideway show and as you can see uh, on top of it you have uh, four stairs next to each other it's actually five i'm sorry I, I said it wrong it's yeah it's five it's five in the middle Then this is really easy, what we did before, just putting down the stairs and then just like rejoining them with a row of just four blocks of those. On the upper block once again, and what we're gonna do right here is as well put down some slabs just following the line, what we did before. And then you go one more up, follow the line, what we did before. then just to 
top it off we do one more row and then to the last row we'll put down some stairs So right here what I'm doing is putting down some fence gates or fences, depends what you prefer on the down part uh, and also uh, later I will put down some trap doors and also stairs just for the extra support like the dark oak wooden stairs you can see other pillars just facing towards each other. And then right there just a simple door and a trap doors like I said just to round it off a little bit. Alright, so remember the first foundations we put it for the stairs. Yes, uh, it, it's this one. This one, and of course we have those two in the middle. This one, and, and this one. So on this very corner right here, you start counting three blocks. On the fourth block, you remove one, two blocks. So this one is gonna be two, and it is the gap of three in between those. You do exactly the same. Three, counting on the fourth, you break it break it and two and basically we're gonna mirror that right there as well so right here is just like some normal stairs a slab in between just some normal fences two campfires on top of it and then some spruce stairs just for the roof design a little bit of different color but I really like this design because it looks a little bit older maybe like some sort of a jail you know I don't know it I, I, I kind of like it And then once again, right here, we're gonna count three blocks up. And on the fourth block, so this one, we're gonna go three blocks right there. So three up. On the fourth block, you go three there. And then on the fourth block, once again, you break five. And you go four up. And then right here, we have three. So once again, just like the, the same window design, you know, really like it, uh, it's kind of dark, would have used like different colors just for the depth and stuff like that, but since it's a haunted manor, I think like that using dark colors is really working well. But if you would like to make it a bit more livable and less scary, you can also put down a spruce wooden roof right there just to, to spice up a bit of color, you know. So right here, uh, you gotta count three blocks, three blocks in the middle, uh, if I'm alright, it's gonna be three blocks uh, wide, like this, and four blocks up, and then you're like, it's a square, it's not true, but yes, it's true, because actually you need to remove those blocks as well. So once again, for the archway, some stairs there. A door and this is something really easy to do and you can use it for a lot of buildings guys it's just stacking up uh, some trap doors and then just uh, putting the back up and you'll get that a uh, little like a big door feeling you know and a bit of texture to your wall as well and once again to round off uh, some uh, trap doors so this part is optional guys you don't have to do it literally uh, the house is looking good on its own right but there's a couple ways to actually make it look better and it's uh, removing blocks like the terracotta and putting a lot of dark oak uh, wood planks oak wooden planks but there's also another way use some signs uh, remove blocks and put down some dark oak wooden stairs and you can also put down some trap doors on uh, to top it off because it's looking old right you need to make it scary and odd looking and not really clean and that's an effect you get by doing that so just do that everywhere around your house signs trap doors 
uh, stairs to remove four blocks and there you'll get it so this part uh, didn't really like put it in um, the time lapse because it's with all the added the ground but you'll get the feeling i just want to give you a feeling of uh, what a house could potentially look like in a different uh, environment so that tree right there as you can see a path going towards it but also like in a bland place like that it's not scary at all so uh, I, I I decided to add some trees later on all around once again with all that as you can see some spruce trees custom made and I removed the, uh, the, the dead tree and put it on the left side and right there just some lanterns starting from the side you begin from the second pillar and this is gonna be three then right here you just remove two blocks up and then one gap and two blocks up and then really easy just some uh, spruce wood some stairs uh, rejoining there some and the side and then a full block slab and then just like the paints in between those and it should rejoin with the lower part uh, as you can see there it's a really nice and easy uh, window design I, I I don't know if you can see it because uh, this is uh, with the shaders on but uh, it's it's quite easy because it's the same design as we did for the windows there so you start right here and you go with a three block gaps and then right here we have one it's going two, one gap and then once two up so uh, there we go like a little arrow like this but this one it's more about the middle one it's different because how I did it is that I actually searched the middle through this thing because this is pointing right through the middle, right? So here's the one gap and I do the two and the two up once again and it's exactly the same. So three and then uh, uh, yeah, the thing up and uh, the thing up and it's then it's gonna be two. So quite easy, uh, but it's just like counting the things and knowing where the middle is. Alright guys, so uh, we are actually at the end of the video. I hope that this video was clear, I tried my best to make it clear. But this is the end result and how spooky it looks like with lights and shaders on and uh, just like a lot of trees around. You can build a lot more things like pumpkin farms, graveyard and stuff like that to make it really spooky. Add cobwebs, there's so many things to do but to make a tutorial out of that is gonna be way and way too long. But I hope that you like your house. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave a like because it will help me a lot. Subscribe if you're new uh, and hit the bell icon because lately I haven't been having the views because you know I've been away for a long time and uh, yeah, I'll go rate them off YouTube. But anyways, show me your love if you really like the content I make and uh, I'll see you in the next time. Goodbye.